National Sport Policy Table, Defamation Act passed, $250 million school sport infrastructure improvement project launched, and Jamaica ranked number one in the Western Hemisphere for press freedom. These were among the major achievements in 2013 for the sport and information portfolios in the office of the Prime Minister. Increasing the contribution of sport to national development was the main focus of OPM's sport unit in 2013. In March, Minister Without Portfolio responsible for sport Natalie Nita Headley tabled a white paper of the national sport policy. By April, Minister of Sport Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller reconvened the National Council on Sport. The OPM was steadfast in its efforts to fully maximize the potential of sports in 2013. That's why the sport unit undertook a series of stakeholder meetings to sensitize the sporting community on the impact the October passage of the Charitable Organizations Act would have on the sector. Those who bring items in for sport have to have an idea how you ship something to Jamaica because as we know the Charity Act and the Charitable Harmonization Act is designed or meant to make this process less cumbersome. Another strategic policy move came when OPM joined the fight against lifestyle diseases by appointing a representative to the National Non-Communicable Diseases Committee. Physical inactivity is the fourth leading risk factor for global mortality. To ensure Jamaica's young athletes are equipped to achieve their full potential, the OPM announced a $250 million high school sport infrastructure program in the latter part of 2013. Under this project, 10 schools will be targeted by the Sports Development Foundation in Phase 1 to the tune of $100 million during financial years 2014 to 2016. The Ministry of Agriculture through the EU Sugar Transformational Project has agreed to target yet another 13 schools which fall within the sugar transformation areas in phase one of this initiative in the amount of $150 million. And in a bid to have Jamaicans competing in more sporting disciplines on the world stage, the sport unit also supported the groundbreaking for a state-of-the-art weapons range. This facility will fit right into those plans of ensuring that come 2016 or come 2020 uh, we will have another sporting discipline in which Jamaica will not only be participating but will be excelling in. A significant preoccupation for OPM's sport division in 2013 was the quest to preserve the integrity of sport on the island. During her budget presentation, Minister Nita Headley announced that $16 million was set aside to improve JADCO's testing program. An additional $7.15 million was received from the Chase Fund to develop nutritional and educational programs, launch a new website and provide additional doping control testing. The Government of Jamaica is relentless in its commitment to integrity in sport and will do its part for the maintenance of a doping-free sporting environment and we stand with our athletes. We stand by our athletes and value the significant contributions they make towards engendering national pride. However, as a country, we reiterate the importance of integrity in sport, fair play, and the maintenance of a doping-free sporting environment. Prime Minister Simpson Miller and her Minister Without Portfolio both reaffirmed the nation's support of its athletes in the wake of several athletes testing for banned substances in 2013. Mrs. Simpson Miller used the confirmation of positive drug test results to issue an invite to the World Anti-Doping Agency to visit the island and review Jamaica's anti-doping operations. Following the receipt and review of WADA's report, JADCO implemented several changes. Among them was a review of the Anti-Doping in Sport Act, the formation of a new board of commissioners, as well as the hiring and training of additional staff. A new executive director was earlier appointed. At the end of the day, our aim is to transform Jamaica into one of the most engaged and most successful sporting nations 
in the world. In support of all forms of freedom of expression and its importance to democracy, the information division within the OPM pushed for a new defamation act. This bill is a significant plank in our democratic infrastructure. The amended defamation act, which replaces the decades-old libel and slander laws, was passed in the Senate in July and the House of Representatives in November 2013. It abolishes criminal libel, changes the assessment of damages from a jury to a judge, and introduces new remedies that do not require monetary compensation. As testament to the government's open media policy, Jamaica was ranked number one in press freedom in the Western Hemisphere last year. The ranking followed a global report on press freedom by Reporters Without Borders. I'm a strong believer in citizens' participation, and I believe that if we allow our citizens that access to the information, give it to them in a timely manner, it will help them to develop, it will help our country to develop. The Jamaica Information Service celebrated 50 years of informing, educating and entertaining the masses in 2013. A feat that was celebrated by the OPM. And with Jamaica's rich tradition of disseminating well-needed information, the government of Botswana sent a team on a benchmarking mission to the island in September. Another information agency, the Broadcasting Commission, expanded its media literacy program with an extensive ad campaign. The Media Blitz focused on the protection of children from harmful content, anti-piracy and payola. In June, the Jamaica Archives and Records Department, JARD, received $36 million to enhance its operations in preserving the island's cultural heritage. As a government, we are not only fully committed to strengthening the important work of recording and preserving our history, but we are committed to making this powerful information more accessible to our people anywhere in the world. The office of the Prime Minister was on a mission in 2013, a mission to deepen the contribution of sport to national development while making information more accessible in pursuit of more jobs and economic growth. <music>